Welcome to Trail Traveler. Today, we are outside of Allen's Park, Colorado. We're gonna begin our adventure on Bunt School Road and then head up to T-33 to see airplane wreckage from almost 60 years ago. So join us as we begin another adventure. Hello trail travelers. It is Carrie and Katarina and we are hitting a trail today. Uh, well, the first section is Bunt School Road. Behind me is the historic schoolhouse. But well, we're gonna take this to another trail called T-33. And unfortunately, that is the wreckage of an old T-33 a jet aircraft from the Air Force. Uh, it crashed years and years ago, decades ago. And we're gonna go take a look at the wreckage up there get turned around and head back. So there's gonna be some fun obstacles today. It's been raining the last few days, so it's gonna be slick. It's gonna be a challenge, I think, and some of these wet obstacles. But we're all aired down. We've got Phil and Dana in their 392, and we got Nick and Rochelle with us today. We're gonna to go have some fun. Let's go hit the trail. Now, Bun School Road itself, the Bun School Road section of the trail that we're on today is a high easy to low moderate you cannot do this in something that doesn't have some decent ground clearance but that's all you really need now there was that water back there that was actually pretty deep i don't know that i would have wanted to take our subaru through that much water but the deep fit it just fine and like up ahead here we see some rocks and really all you need is ground clearance if you got the ground clearance to do it and you pick a good line, you're gonna be just fine. When we get up to T33, that's gonna be a bit more difficult for sure. Now this is really the only obstacle, if you will, on the trail here. And this can be a little tricky and it's going to be fairly off camber. So she's gonna to stick to the passenger side Kind of hug it. There's going to be a little rockiness here and a little off camber, but as she pulls around, she should be just fine. So far, we have really been enjoying Bunt School Road. Hasn't been nearly as wet as we expected, other than a few water puddles. We're making our way down, and when we hit about the 4.2 mile mark, that's when we're gonna move over to the T33 trail. Until then, we're just relaxing, taking it easy, and enjoying some beautiful scenery. Now this gate here is seasonal. So during the winter, that's gonna be closed for access and uh, you gotta turn around at that point. During the rest of the year, like right now, you can just keep on going. But up ahead, we're gonna make a right-hand turn and go on T-33. Now the reason this trail is called T-33 is because there's a T-33 at the end of it. The T-33 is a Lockheed T-33 shooting star. 
or T-Bird as it was known, which was an American subsonic jet trainer. It was produced by Lockheed and made its first flight in 1948. Now we're gonna to get to another Y intersection here, and this is where we're going to have to make a right-hand turn again. And this is gonna keep us heading towards the T-33 plane crash. But now, on road 203 here, it's gonna start getting a little more difficult. Now we're having a lot of fun here on the T-33 trail. There's some nice obstacles. Trails Off-Road rates this as a 5.5, which I think is an absolutely solid rating for this trail. But as we go through these in our well-built Jeeps, there you, go. you can't help but imagine how difficult it had to be to do this trail 60 years ago in old military equipment. I wish I would have been able to see that. It must have been quite a sight. Give it some gusto. A little bit more. There you go. Little Jeep wave. Okay, little driver and go. You're gonna have to go. You're gonna have to really go for it. Go for it. Going, go, go, go. Get ready to get on it. Get ready to get on it. Go, 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 go. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Do not stop, don't stop. Good job. Keep going. Get on it. There you go. Good job. Climb it. Nick, hold on. Go up around the turn. Now, if you're following along uh, on Trails Off-Road, which I highly recommend, especially getting the uh, all-access pass so you make sure you get all of the data for all the different trails, after Waypoint 7, things get a little bit easier. There's still some rocks, there's still some ledges and stuff, but it's not as bad as it was before. In just a few minutes, you'll reach the end of the driving trail. You'll arrive at a parking lot that can only fit about five people, and you'll see the sign marking the entrance to the hiking trail, which will take about five minutes for you to go down to the crash site. Now, 
And a little history about the T33. The two-place T33 was a great advanced trainer and was used as such out of bases here in Colorado. This particular aircraft crashed on June 27th, 1965. The two crewmen that piloted the plane, U.S. Air Force Major J.E. Curry and U.S. Air Force First Lieutenant Donald B. Darby both lost their lives in the crash. For some reason, they had gone off course from their planned route and impacted the mountain. Well, considering the aircraft had a maximum speed of 600 miles an hour and a cruising speed of 455, well, when it hit the mountain, there wasn't much left of it and debris was scattered over a wide area. According to an article in the Fort Collins Coloradian from the day after the crash, both men were instructors with the Edwards Aerospace Research Pilot School in California. They were part of its Air Force Flight Test Center where pilots are trained and new aircraft are tested. Now it's not known why this particular aircraft crashed on this particular day, but it took quite an effort to get the men out as well as what they could from the aircraft. The rest of it is still there. With the wreckage sitting on the mountainside for almost 60 years, it was actually very difficult to spot any of it from the air. Pretty easy on the ground, but with all the trees overgrown, it's almost as if it's not there. Well, that was Bunce School Road and the T-33 crash site. What a story, what a bit of history. And it's just sad to see that wreckage out there knowing that two guys lost their lives in that. But we're gonna head out, we're gonna go air up, get back on the freeway and get home. So from Katarina and myself, stay safe out there. We'll see you on the trails.